Hi, this is Justin uh, Spring. I thought I'd pass something on to you. I just returned uh, from a trip to the Grand Caymans and to Cozumel in Mexico on a Carnival Line cruiser. I'm going to show you some pictures, but I just wanted to say that I was very surprised. You know, this trip, which we took in the middle of the hurricane season, uh, where they really dropped their prices down, was $270 for five nights. But the food, the the room, the cabin, the beds, the the the, the service were was just the first rate. And although the ship, which was the inspiration, and it, and it goes out of Tampa, uh, is an older ship that was refurbished about four or five years ago, and you can't tell it from new. I mean, it was quiet. Uh, the bed linen was the softest I've ever been on. It, it, it felt like Egyptian cotton. The bed, and I'm a real stickler for beds, the king size bed we had was better than my own bed at home, which I spent a small fortune on. The food is terrific. It's available 24 hours a day through room service, or else you can go up and you can dine, you know, for breakfast and for um, the dinner. The service is very nice. Tipping's not a problem. What Carnival does is it charges uh, 10 bucks a, a day for tips. That covers everybody. So you, you don't have to worry if you've over tipped or under tipped, there's no need to do it. The, the thing that's expensive are, 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 of course, are drinks. Now, I don't drink and, and Joan, who was with me, doesn't drink at all. So we were you're free on that one, you know. Uh, so that if you drink, you might want to bring your own bottle unless you're just loaded with money. But we got off for 270 bucks a piece plus the $50 for the tips. And we had a parking garage in Tampa, which is across the street from the boat terminal, which is very nice. I would just suggest you get there early as possible uh, because the line can be long when you check in. Checking out is 15 minutes. You're out of there like a rocket, you know, and across the street. It's very nicely done. But checking in, people have questions, and my legs aren't too good, so it, I had to stand in line for about an hour or so. I didn't find that particularly nice, you know. Uh, but once on the boat, everything is really first class. We were able to go snorkeling at both the Grand Caymans and at the Cozumel, you just get off the boat, you get in a bus or a car, and it takes you to a, to another smaller boat, which brings you out to the reefs, and the guys who run these are really great. Um, the guys in Mexico were, you know, particularly great. There's something about the Mexican people, very gracious and funny and nice, so we had a really great time with them. Um, so I'm going to just suggest, if you have if five nights you can spare and you want to take a little trip, I would take a look at the carnival line and just book it directly, as well anyway. And the only thing that's a little tricky is you have to get your luggage tags online, you know, basically through your computer and you put them on your bags and that's it and you dump them off when you drive up to the boat terminal and they put them in front of your room by the time you get there and that's it, you know, so there's really not any hassle on that. And the price is so low, there's no need haggling. And I think the tickets are probably available right up till the time that the boat leaves, you know, because it's off season. It's a little hot outside, but the entire boat is air conditioned. If I don't particularly care for the tropical heat, you know, during uh, the summer months, we went September 5th through the 10th, you know, but uh, we just checked the hurricane charts and then look, I mean, we're going to have clear sailing, and we did. And the skies were beautiful and the water was beautiful. So. If you're in uh, the Sarasota area, I would definitely take a look. If you want some time to kill it, run vacation or whatever it is down here or just visiting, take a look at the Carnival Lines and just look for the cruisers out of Tampa on the Inspiration. You can always have a friend who drop you off and pick you up after five days. It's probably the best way to do it, I think. Uh, and uh, uh, you have a nice five days for yourself. And it's cheaper than visiting Sarasota. You're looking at about uh, five days. $55, $60 a day, $70 a day, you know, and that's, and that's you, that's with first class treatment, first class food, first class rooms. We happen to choose a boat, a room at the bottom uh, of the boat, uh, down on the M deck. There are two more decks that go down, but that's the M deck. It's a very low deck, somewhere in the middle, uh, because in the event that we did hit rough seas, that will move the least. For those of you who are physics majors, you'll understand that. Uh, but there's a TV in every room, and even though there's an inner cabin, you can see the ocean outside. <laughs> it was nice on those hot days just to sit inside, just watch the ocean outside as the boat cruised on, and it's filled with uh, you know, windows, and they have a sushi bar, and they have a delicatessen bar. I mean, it's really unbelievable. I mean, if you like to eat like I do, and you like your comfort, and, 
and, you, and, and in fact, you like it at a low price, but without a sacrifice of quality, I would definitely take a look at that. So that's the Carnival Lines. The boat is the inspiration, and it's out of Tampa. So if you're in this area, this is the place to go. Uh, and that is, in fact, I hope you like the pictures that we show you on the way. They're kind of self-explanatory. So uh, just a little tip that when I hit something good, I always like to pass it on because uh, you can spend a lot of money on boats and you can do a lot of nonsense with them. But this is a winner. So we all like winners. If you have any questions, you can always send me an email. You, you know how to reach me. Soulspeakspring at uh, gmail.com. What we're kind of looking at now is when we got to you know, Cozumel, you know, in both places that the boat is out on anchor generally, but here in Cozumel, it came into the dock and there's a bus waiting for you and it takes you all out to the um, site where, you, where you're going to be doing your, your snorkeling. And this, I'm sorry, is the um, one in Grand Cayman. The, Reef there wasn't very good. It's been damaged, so I wouldn't suggest taking this. It was uh, one of the reef diving trips. I'm going to say something. It was the only bad aspect of the trip that we had. That they should not be taking people out on this. There I am, getting ready to go over, and um, I think this is cut short. I didn't take any more pictures until we came back, and here we're going back to the boat. So that was in Grand Cayman where we anchored off the the. Uh, dock so to speak and give you some idea of the size of the boats and, and it's anchored you know how these guys come into these places these boats are really remarkable they're not I'm an old sailor so I'm kind of into docking procedures which are always like uh, harem scarum events but these guys have props on all sides of the boat and they just kind of back it in this is your Cosimo which I expected to be a rather small operation but it's a this is a downtown and it's a pretty good size uh, you can see some of the boats that are all anchored off, and some are anchored off, and some are at the docks. You know, but here's the idea of the water. Of course, it's just gorgeous, you know. And here, that we took a little, uh, a little bus. Here's every, they take pictures of you constantly. We had one taken of us underwater while we were snorkeling. Uh, one of the Mexican boys was on the boat. He dives off with a camera. They're very enterprising and funny with some fish food, which the local fish find totally fascinating and uh, so even though and in fact the fish they attract with the special fish food are the really colorful ones which you really don't see on the reefs anymore you know the reefs have been damaged everywhere in the world I think except in very remote spots nobody really knows the, the, the cause of it but what happens he, he kind of comes underwater at you with a camera ask if you want a picture and you're not and then he gets you together and then he just drops some of this food in front of your mask and all these fish come in front of you which are beautiful and he snaps a photo and then he's waiting there for you when you get off the boat. It's just, they're very enterprising. Here's their, 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 they're pretending to be Mayans, you know, here. And here's one of the things that the Mexicans do very well. These young kids do pantomimes and they kind of, you know, you dress up these fantastic outfits. They're all over Mexico. I really like them. And here we're going out to the reefs of Cosmo, which were very nice. Uh, of course, I didn't have an underwater camera, so I didn't do any. There's Joan, she's excited, you know, she's, she's, she doesn't get out very much into the wild, so this is a big experience for her. And that's me, um, I think I was just kind of cold that day or something, whatever it was, I just wanted to bundle up. I don't know whether we're coming back or we're going out at this stage, but it was a nice trip and Mexicans are just um, the, the best and they're so social and funny, you know, that uh, we had some ex-New Yorkers on the Grand Cayman and they were very nice also, but you just can't compare to the sociability of the Mexicans. Uh, and in fact, I live in Mexico two or three months a year. Here's one of the lounges, one of the surrealistic lounges, but they have a pizza parlor, which is good pizza, and they have a deli with great corned beef and great pastrami. I can't tell you how really good it is. And it's all free, you know, so how can you beat it, really? And I think the last shot of here is me just looking at my pastrami, which is a kind of the Caribbean rye bread, but it was good. And that's Joan with uh, some bagels and lox. You couldn't believe it. It was like being in Brooklyn again. And so we had a nice little lunch there, and then we're off and that's the trip, you know, so this is my little alter ego, Shaper Rivera, so um, take this trip.